and welcome to the National Security Summit 2018 here, and I call it hallowed Pershing Auditorium, the Indiana War Memorial. And it's so good to see everyone, and we have an incredible cast of speakers lined up today, and we've talked about it's a historic time. Last night, President Trump ordered missiles and bombs into Syria to take out the chemical depots and the chemical installations in Syria. And it's so interesting and apropos that here in the Indiana War Memorial, it was built in 1924 to celebrate the end of all wars, World War I, where they first used massive gas chemical weapons, killing tens of thousands of people. History repeats itself. That first major gas attack in World War I occurred about 103 years ago in Belgium. And now we're, we're seeing our nation standing up to, to rid. You see, that was supposed to be a conference prior to World War I, and all the civilized nations said, we will not use, and they signed on twice, 1899, 1907, at the Hague, that they would not use chemical weapons. But we're just glad to be here, and, and we have a great lineup. I'm going to talk about some of our speakers, and then we're going to have a prayer, and we're going to sing our national anthem. But it's going to go four hours, and that's quite a bit of time, but it's a tremendous time here. <laughs> The speakers are going to present on the hottest topics, the most important topics concerning our national security. And at the end of this conference, you get a vote. The audience here gets to vote on the resolutions that we want President Trump to take heed and Vice President Pence and all of our congressional delegation here in Indiana to pay attention to. And you get a vote and cast that vote. And believe me, they actually know. We receive emails from Vice President's staff. And we, we're in contact with President Trump's uh, <laughs> legislative directors and others. And uh, it's so precious to see you guys. We're going to start with prayer. I'd like to invite my wife up here. And we'll begin. Let's bow our heads. Precious Father. We thank you so much that we are privileged to come and gather together still in your name today. We thank you, Lord, that our eyes are on you, but our eyes are certainly on what is going on in our state, in our city, our country, and our nation. That's why we're here. We thank you, Lord, that today we are not just truth seekers, but we are truth believers, that we need to walk and live and move in the truth, because that is what this is all about today. We thank you, Lord, that we speak a protection, Father God, upon all of us that are even representing different organizations and groups that are in this room. We thank you, Lord, that you speak a special protection on all of us, individually, corporately, as a city, as a state, and as a nation. Lord God, thank you that let your plan unfold for what you have for us all coming together, for our times, our troublesome times, our times, our sober times, but these times are also strategic times. We thank you, Lord, that you will continue to be the shield and the true tower of defense and protection for all of us in this hour. We thank you, Lord, that let your anointing be upon all the speakers, all the presenters, all that are following after, not just a cause, but they're following after the principles that have been guided by you, instilled by the Constitution, and that need to come into further installation, Father God, in these times. As I woke up this morning, Lord, there was a scripture that came to my attention. And so I would like to pray that over this event in this hour. And it's in the book of Isaiah, and it's in chapter 11. And we pray today that the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon each one of us and upon this time that we have together. 
the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might. Let that be upon our speakers and thus coming together. Let there be the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. And let all of us begin in this hour to become that of quick understanding and of the fear of the Lord. Let all of us be able to come in and have that place and that position in knowing not just what's going on, but we'll have the solutions that you're giving us and as we come together. And the word of God says, come, let us reason together. And so we are doing so in this place. And Father, let us not judge after the sight of our eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of your ears of what is going on. But Father God, let us judge with righteousness and truth. And let us know that you are a faithful God and that you are faithful in the doings that are taking place. Let us be not weary in well-doing. Let us be keeping on with the truth. Truth is power, but with that we need wisdom. Let us be able to execute it. We ask that you would grant that to us so your plan and purpose would come forth. Give us the grace to carry it out. And in this hour upon all our hearts, we're praying for those that are in active line of duty, those that are following in the military and even in the events that's gone on and are continuing to go on even these last 24 to 48 hours. Let your hand be upon us, Lord God. And most importantly, we are all in agreement in this room that we not only say, God bless America, we say, God save America. In the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ, amen. amen. I would like to invite former Miss Indiana, Susan Beckwith, to sing our national anthem. Let's rise. 